Ladies and Gentlemen, Mesdames les juges, Messieurs les juges, chers collègues professeurs, chers collègues étudiants, uh, it's a great privilege for me to open this conference, and I do that on behalf of the European Society of International Law. And the European Society of International Law is very pleased to be associated with an event in Bucharest. It's the first time that the European Society has an event and we very much hope it's not going to be the last time. We are also very pleased to meet members of the European Society who are based in Romania. There is quite a number of them. And we very much hope that we're going to welcome new members to the Society. Now, the Society has as an objective to promote the study of international law and to contribute to the rule of law in international relations. So the theme of today's conference is crucial for the promotion of the rule of law when we are going to be looking at the interactions between international law and domestic law. But before we start our discussions about this important theme, I would like to say a few words about the European Society of International Law. The European Society of International Law was created 10 years ago. We will celebrate the 10th anniversary of the Society in Vienna in September 2014. And we, it was created 10 years ago, and we have here in this room two founding members of this society. Professor Anne Peters, who is the director of the Max Planck Institute in Heidelberg, and Professor and Judge Christian Mozart from the Garrett University. So we're very grateful to the energy and initiative, because now we have a great society. The society, uh, the members of the society are from Europe, but also outside of Europe. And they are involved in a wide array of activities. The members are academics, researchers, practitioners, government officials, judges, diplomats, legal advisors, as well as students. And I would like to say that we have special rates for students. And they're most welcome in the activities of the society. Now, which are the, what are the activities of the society? The society organizes conferences. The society organizes research forums, has a lecture series that you can find on the website of the society. The society organizes workshops such as this one today. The society has a quarterly newsletter, and it has also a reflection series. And I would like to acknowledge the presence in this room of Professor André Nolkemper, who is the editor-in-chief of the Reflection Series of the European Society of International Law. We also have a large number of interest groups dealing with environmental law, human rights, use of force, and so on. And I would also encourage you to look at the activities of these interest groups, because they're dynamic networks, and you can in inter enter in contact with scholars uh, working in different countries. And, uh, there are meetings which are organized by the interest groups. For example, we're going to have a meeting in Geneva in November, organized by the interest group of the European Society dealing with international environment and law. So all these, uh, all these activities are open to the European Society members. And I would like to stress that the strength of the society in it is, in it is in its members. And I would really like encourage all of you to become members of this society. One thing which is dear to me, and I'm speaking in English, but French is also an official language of the society, and we think also that Spanish could be. It's important to include diversity, cultural diversity, linguistic diversity, as well as yeah, but diversity in terms of traditions of international law. So the more we're going to be in the society, the best it's going to be in terms of exchanges. Now, the topic today deals with international law and domestic law. We know that it's not a new topic. It's, in fact, as old as, as international law itself. But in fact, what is interesting is that there are new perspectives that we have to look at. And we are very privileged today to also have the perspective of judges. This is also something that I would like to stress, is that the European society is very very much willing to include professionals in its uh, uh, membership and not just have academics. I'm not going to be presenting uh, 
the theme as well as explaining why we have chosen it is my colleague Ilian Mortop who is going to do it. But before I give her the floor, I would like to thank her very much for all the work that uh, she has done. And we are very privileged to be gathered in this room uh, in a wonderful site. I would also like to acknowledge the great help and assistance of Felix Zaharia from the Ministry of Foreign Affairs. He also has contributed enormously to the organization of this conference. So with these words, I'm very, I would like to stress once more that I'm very happy to be here and I look forward to all our changes. Thank you very much.